What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to cover this week's TWEB. Now within this week, so this week at Bungie, the main discussion happening is about sandbox changes and things they are doing. Honestly guys, what I read so far seems great and 100% will make a lot of people real happy. Now the whole update you will find linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. I'm going to cover what in my opinion is the most important parts. So let's get into it. Sand people. On the development roadmap we forecast one update that players have been talking about a lot. We've been gathering lots of feedback about the Destiny 2 sandbox and seeing it on a deployment schedule sparks more questions. Design lead Josh Hamrick is here with the first of many rounds of answers. Hamrick, hello again. We've been promising more details about our work on the Destiny 2 Sandbox, so here we are. Before we started, I want to lend some context. The Sandbox team is currently working on lots of updates for Destiny 2. Over the next several months, as those various delivery dates approach, there will be many visits from me and one of my teammates. Know that we'll be chatting with you again and again to share more details with you as we acquire them. The meal will span many courses, here's the first. We've begun playtesting a series of changes that you will have in your hands in the next few months. Sandbox is lovingly begun to refer to the series of changes as the Go Fast update. These are the changes we are currently playtesting. They're not guaranteed to ship, but the outlook is good at this point. Our goals for this round are to provide individual players with more hero moments by increasing overall speed and mobility, increasing the amount of supers you charge to demolish your enemies, and increasing the frequency and impact of our most montage worthy power weapons, especially in the Crucible. Here's what we are doing. All three glides plus catapult and strafe lift have been returned and buffed to make them more unique and faster. The mobility stat has had its range expanded and been completely returned as well. In short, everyone gets faster and the high end is higher. The player's ground speed cap has been increased, allowing for faster total movement speed, regardless of how you may get there. Arc Strider, Sentinel and Striker all move faster and at the same speed as one another while in their supers. Arc Strider as a whole is performing well in PvP but mostly due to its neutral game perks. We've made the following changes in an effort to get the super to be a more competitive option. Faster attack animations, faster dodge animations, increased range of all attacks. Super should charge faster for everyone. We've buffed several weapon archetypes including but not limited to hand cannons, pulse rifles, sniper rifles and shotguns and a few specific perks as well. A key goal here is to make shotgun, snipers and fusion rifles more prevalent in the game. We've also been working side by side with our friends on PvP to increase the pace of PvP combat and the frequency of power play. Here's a sneak peek at their hard work. Player respawn times for all quick play modes has been decreased. Player ammo respawn timers for all quick player modes has been reduced by 30%. Player ammo respawn timers in survival has been reduced by 40%. Player ammo respawn timers in countdown has been reduced by 25%. Ammo count has been adjusted in relation to these timers and in relation to weapon type. Enemy players now drop their power ammo on death. The drop brick is available to anyone up the drop brick is available to anyone until picked up or 30 seconds have passed. Finally, the shoulder charge changes that went in a couple of months ago have been fully reverted. Shoulder charge movement utility was perceived as more valuable than its damage utility, which made it feel bad to actually hit someone with shoulder charge. The movement was effectively a free dodge. The goal of the under-targeted distance nerf was to discourage using the ability as a movement mode by making it only effective when using it against enemies. In retrospect, we think this change was a mistake and we've heard you all say the same. We believe there are a number of gameplay atoms like this that perform or are used differently than we expected but are thoroughly enjoyed nonetheless. In the future, we want to embrace the state of gameplay atoms like that and balance around it, not against it. One final note that will be important to all the snipers out there. Many of you rightfully complain that snipers flinch too hard when you're taking hits, especially as they are now power weapons. We have dug into this and found that somewhere along the way towards shipping D2, we acquired a bug that is preventing us from being able to successfully tune this to the values that we'd all like. While the current batch of changes we are playtesting go a long way to bringing snipers back to where they should be, this bug will still prevent them from 
feeling perfect. That bug, which we are actually working on fixing, requires some deep changes to the art of each of the individual snipers in the game. That will take us a while to stomp out. We'll get it fixed and pushed out to you as soon as we possibly can. Like I mentioned, this is the first part in a series of sandbox updates that we hope you come to enjoy. As these changes continue to solidify, we'll have more to say. The next items on our agenda after these changes include the mod system rework, which we plan to use to buff ability cooldowns, and the exotic balance pass. We're also continuing to evaluate Destiny 2's weapon slot system and how all the different types of weapons in Destiny fit into the game how they are being played and what we can do to improve that experience. Expect to hear more from us about that in the future. Until next time. Now this to me people is something I feel we all wanted. PvP is definitely lacking, especially compared to Destiny 1. Yes, Destiny 1 had many issues, but if you've been playing Destiny 2 for the months it's been out, go back and play Destiny 1's PvP. It feels way more fast paced, it's time to kill is way quicker. Everything about Destiny 1's PvP is way more enjoyable than playing Destiny 2's PvP. And I ain't the only one to think this. Many PvP players and streamers have boycotted Destiny 2 for this very reason. Destiny 2's PvP is just not fun to play. With the amount of complaining people have been doing, and as it seems the amount of listening Bungie have been doing, they are seriously taking into account the fact people preferred Destiny 1's PvP over Destiny 2's, and the changes seem to be coming. Now I ain't going to say it's going to be perfect, Destiny 2's PvP core has been built on the basis of being a lot more slow paced, meaning map groups, ammo spawn spots, capture points, basically everything has been put in place to match the pace of the game. Speeding everything up will change many things, I ain't going to say it's going to be perfect, perfect but once they've applied these updates in my opinion it's definitely going to be much much better though. A faster pace overall with ability buffs, agility buffs, faster ammo spawns, faster kill times, this paired with 6v6 and ranks to chase and play 4 I honestly feel this will be great and PvP will become a much better and more fun place to be. Now honestly I don't do this much, not of late anyway, but definitely people hats off to Bungie for this. You guys know I'm the first to call them out on anything they do but I don't do it because I enjoy doing it, I do it because I'm a whisper in the wind, a voice in the community and feel someone needs to do so but I've said it from day one I'll also salute the good things they do these sandbox changes are a real good thing in my opinion they truly are PvP in my opinion will no doubt be a much better place to be honestly I can't wait obviously though people have moved on but people still follow the news in hopes of something great this in my opinion is something great will it change destiny 2 for the better in my opinion it will the core sandbox changes were seriously needed we needed changes to make us like they say have more hero moments that is what i miss and changes are needed as such before any new dlc comes out and by the looks of it changes are happening on that note guys i am out other things are covered in this weekly update but nothing i haven't brought you guys already so but if you do want to read it all like i said it's linked within the video description but guys on that note i am out let me know what you think about these changes coming to pvp and pve do you think they're good do you think they're bad let me know but thanks as always for stopping by if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help me out and hopefully people i will see you on that next one always in the